How do you know when to water your established lawn? It's easy. Water your grass when you see any of these three signs. Curled up leaf blades, blue to grey colour instead of green, footprints or lawnmower tracks remain visible long after being made. Now remember, none of these signs indicate your lawn is about to die. Your turf has the ability to turn brown and go dormant, but stay alive for three to four weeks during periods of long dry. If you live in an area with water restrictions, it's a good idea to let your grass go dormant between watering. Before the dry season begins, start to water the grass for a long period of time, infrequently, to get a good deep penetration. This trains your grass to become more drought tolerant through establishing a deeper and more healthier root system. Your turf can then cope for longer periods of time without water during heat stress and consider using a wetting agent to aid in this process. It is important to water deeply and as infrequently as possible, generally in the morning. This is again about training your grass to handle the dry conditions through the establishment of a good root system. There are further ways you can reduce your overall water use. Don't mow your grass during prolonged dry periods. Mowed grass loses lots of moisture through cut leaf blades and turns brown if you don't water it. Cut at the highest recommended height for your grass. Taller grass shades and cools the ground reducing moisture loss. If you find your watering is not penetrating the ground, your soil may be hydrophobic. Hydrophobic conditions cause the water to collect on the surface of your soil rather than penetrate into the ground. To aid water penetration and retention, use a wetting agent and for more information, visit the myhometurf.com.au website. When you cut too short and you get caught out and it goes hot, that'll actually burn, which then burns the roots underneath. So that'll cause heat stress, brown patch. So, so the best thing to do is water every morning and do a deep saturation. So if you have dry patch or areas are under stress, you don't need to water your whole lawn, you just concentrate on the affected areas mainly. Sprinklers during the middle of the day is fine. You may lose a little bit in evaporation, but you're gonna get better efficiency if you water in the morning. It is extremely important to water your new lawn during its establishment phase. This is the first two weeks after laying the turf. Now you'll get to know your lawn better than anyone. So if it is a soaking in the morning, that's fine. But what you wanna do is just keep it moist. So if it has been a hot or windy day and you think it is dried out a bit, it's okay to top up water of an early afternoon. Now remember, never water too late at night because if you water too late at night and it becomes a humid night, you'll get a possibility of fungus. A healthy lawn needs good soil conditioning, starting with correct pH, followed by lawn maintenance care, such as aeration and fertiliser. If your lawn struggles, despite your best efforts, test your soil pH and refer to My Home Turf for more advice. It is important not to overwater your lawn because you won't be encouraging deeper root depth and penetration and you may be causing saturation, which leads to poor lawn health. Cool, wet weather gives you a break from lawn watering. If you have a sprinkler system set on an automatic timer, check it frequently so you can turn it off during times when it's not needed. A wide variety of grass species can be grown for lawns. Choose the type best suited for your region's climatic conditions. Some grass types are more drought tolerant thanks to their deeper root systems. That's where your My Home Turf Specialist comes into it. And remember, your My Home Turf Specialist is a local farmer or supplier who knows what variety is best suited to your area and your needs. So don't be shy, get in contact.